Hello, um, this is the second video for week 11, finance, cost and selling price and break even analysis. And we are going through this example that is on page 111 of this week's handout. Right, so this is an example of a break even question. Pastor John's wife bakes cakes and, cakes and sell them to the local cake shop. She uses her profit to care for orphan children. Oh, that's nice. Her cost includes a fixed cost of 200 rand per month, that is electricity and fuel, etc., and a further amount of 30 rand per cake. The cake shop gives her 50 rand per cake. All right, so now here is a table. Table A shows the cost involved into baking the cakes, and table B here in question 2 shows the income received from selling the cakes. Okay, and then in question 3 you have to draw the graphs. Okay, so first look at question 1. The number of cakes, so for naught cakes, 5 cakes, 10 cakes, 12 cakes and 16 cakes. Now, because there's a fixed amount attached to this problem, if she doesn't make any cakes, she'll have to pay that 200 rand. Okay, um, let's say it's for, for rent of a special oven during a month for something like that okay now if she makes five cakes she will have to pay five times 30 which is 150 rand plus 200 and that's 350 rand if she makes 10 cakes she p pays 30 times 10 which is 300 300 plus 200 is 500 if she makes 12 cakes, she has to pay 12 times 30, <coughs> which is 360 rand, plus 200 rand. And that gives you 560 rand. If she makes B amount of cakes, um, that we'll need to calculate. And if she makes 16 cakes, she has to pay 30 times 16, which is 480 rand, and 480 plus 200 is 680. So write a formula with which you can calculate the cost of baking a certain number of cakes. C for the cost and N for the number of cakes. So cost is equal to 200 plus 30 times the number of cakes so c is equal to 30 times n okay c is equal to 200 plus 30 times n um, so you'll get a mark for writing 200 plus and you'll get a mark for multiplying right use the formula to determine the value of c and d okay Oh, sorry. Use the formula to determine the values of A and B. Um, 200 is equal to, uh, cost is equal to 200 plus 5 times N, uh, 5 times 30, and that is equal to, uh, 5 times 30 is 150, plus 200 is 450. Okay, now this one, 650. You'll have to do the opposite of what you originally done. So the 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 formula. Let's first cover the. Uh, don't look at the answer. Just look at this. Cost is six fifty, and that's equal to two hundred plus thirty times n. So first we subtract the two hundred from six hundred and fifty, and that gives us four hundred and fifty. Now the opposite of timesing by thirty is divided by thirty. So we go five hundred and fifty divide by 30 and that gives us 15 cakes. You can also just do it with trial and error. Okay, so how would we do that? We know that 12 cakes has a cost of 540. So then we can go 200 plus 13 times 50. 200 times plus 14 times 30. 200 plus 15 times 30 and that gives us 650. If you use trial and improvement, you will have to show um, f uh, two, 200 plus 30 times 13 equals and the answer, 200 plus 14 times 30 in the answer and then 200 plus 15 times 600 uh, times 15 is equal to 650. Therefore, it's for B is equal to 15 cakes or something like that.
Okay, question two. Table do B shows us the income. Okay, so if she doesn't sell any cakes, she doesn't earn money. If she sells five cakes, what money does she earn? Eight cakes is 400 rand. Ten cakes, 500 rand. D cakes, 650 rand. 14 cakes, 700 rand. So the income is equal to that 50 times N. Write a formula for showing how many cakes she, she sells. Is, um, income is for the number of pairs of earrings. Okay, so that's not right for the amount of cakes. So it is I is equal to 50 times N. I'll, I'll cook correct this and then it will be correct in your handout okay uh, use a formula to determine for values for c and d 5 times 50 is equal to 250 and 650 divided by um, 50 is equal to uh, 13 cakes so 50 times 50 times 5 is 250 and 650 divided by 50 is 13. And now use graph paper to draw a line. Okay, so now first the expense graph. Okay, so we have the point 0 200 and 5. Um, okay, so this is the expense. It starts, her first point starts at 200. Then the second point, we have to go slightly smaller just to see this whole graph. Okay, so for this is the number of cakes. So at five cakes, which is here, you go up, 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 and then across. So that would bust 250. This is not plotted in the um, it's not completely plotted in the right place, but but let's just assume it's more or less right. The the line is right though. At ten at ten cakes, it would the expense was five hundred Rand. So ten cakes, five hundred Rand. Okay, so this point is right. Oh sorry, that's in 350. Okay, it has to be right on that line. The the points just moved a bit. Um and then the the last point was for 16 cakes is 680. So 16 up 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 and 560. We plot that. Okay, and then if you have two points plotted correctly, so let's say it's a 200 and the 650, if you connect them with a line, it, it should more or less f go through all the points. So see, these points are, some of them are plotted 100% correctly, but uh, at least you can see that this is a trend. Okay, so you'll get a mark for the first point plotted correctly, and you get a mark for both names. Uh, uh, with the correct line so this is cost and that is income and you get a mark for the last point plotted correctly okay and then the income is not naught so it starts at the origin this point here is called just decrease a bit slightly more okay that's perfect um, that's the origin then you you plot all the points so for eight cakes it was 400 rand, so 8, so above 8, in next to 400 rand, that point is 100%. Then for 10 cakes was 500 rand, you see, go up, up, up to 10 cakes and across to 500 rand. And then at um, six, 14 cakes, up, 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 and that was 700 rand. Okay, so that's your, and then, then you connect it and you'll see that the two lines cross there at 10 cakes and 500 rand. Okay, so determine the number of cakes that must be sold in order to break even. Now, do you see on the table that at 10 cakes you find 500 rand? So you can actually from the table already see that the break even point is at 10 cakes, 500 rand. So that is your break even point. But at the graph, you'll see that the two graphs go through each other at the break even point. Right. So the uh, it's 10 cakes, 
um, determine the amount of cakes that must be sold. 10 cakes must be sold for you to break even. How many cakes must be sold in order for you to make a profit? Now, if you break even at 10 cakes, you'll start making a profit at 11 cakes. Right. Um, and now the next, uh, let's let's quickly look at the, the table. Um, for, for 16 cakes, now 16 cakes is not on there. Um, you can work out 16 times 50 is... Uh, oh, that's a difficult question. 16 times fit is 300 plus 500 is 800 rand. So what profit will you make when you sell 16 cake? So it's 800 minus 680 and that is 120 rand. Okay, but now also, if you look at this, if you sell no cakes, you'll make a 200 rand loss. And the closer you'll get to your break-even point, the smaller your loss will be. Okay, so over here you'll still make a loss of that amount of money. That's round about um, ooh, 100, that's about 80 rand. If you, as soon as you pass your break even point, so yeah, because your income is above your, your uh, cost, do you see here, your income graph is above your cost, you are making a profit here, you are making a profit there. You're making a profit there. And the profit is always the distance between the income graph and the expense graph. Do you get that? Okay, so that is 600 and what what line is that? That's at 14 cakes. It's the cost is seven the income is seven hundred Rand and the the cost is six hundred and twenty Rand. So therefore the income is hundred and eighty Rand. Ach, the, the profit. All right. Thank you very much. Um, enjoy the rest of the week.